this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Mark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their pass. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for Chicago. They've set the first half tone by getting out on the field. And I think he wants to make that a point of emphasis. I, was, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. That's a great point. Ten of the last 12 points they've allowed have come at the rim. Bulls have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And guys, that's really a number break. These are the shooting guards averaging the most assists per game. This is his first trip. And you better believe they'd like to be a lot stronger on the offense. a three-point point. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Denver making a switch here. The Bulls have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. He is three for three from the free throw line. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity strike when he gets his opportunity. So he makes both from the line. Nice shot there without a second to spare. You know, as a defending team in that situation, it's really urgent to give up a shot like that to close out the quarter. You know, oftentimes those end of quarter points can be the difference in a ball game. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. It's Chicago delivering the blowout. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Starting with Kenny, your take. They have run their offense straight out of a coach's textbook today. Both ball and player movement has been excellent. And the result of all that movement, almost all high quality shots they've generated. It's pretty to watch. Very good fundamental basketball. And big fellow, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Barbecue chicken, they were completely overmatched in the low post. I couldn't believe the amount of points they allowed them to make. Wow, I thought I was out there scoring and playing basketball. They gotta switch things up, get some different matches because they are getting eaten alive. Barbecue chicken. And that'll do it for now as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Greg, the play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Chicago shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. Starting to let them down. The last four buckets they surrendered to come in transition. At some point, you got to make an adjustment. Chicago shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. He need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. Well, we thought the third quarter was over. It turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing it up, and even before.
before we look at the replay. I I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. Yeah, that's how it looked to me, and that's the call we should see here, but no harm in going back to the footage and making absolutely certain. And they've overturned that's the call. Good. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, and Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. Bulls out front, just dominating this one. From the United Center in Chicago, the green light doesn't get much green. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They poured it out of that Clark, a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, the award-winning Ernie Johnson will take it from here. We'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, thank you, and now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. He had a triple-double tonight, which is a perfect example of how strong his play has been. The fact that this is yet another triple-double game for him is a true mark of his consistency playing at the highest level. What would you like about his performance, Shaq? One thing that stood out to me was his contribution from deep. We know he can hit the three ball, but we saw him do a lot more damage than normal, and that really opened up the game. He was an artist with the basketball tonight, guys. Just a ridiculous amount of assists for him in this game. The way he moved the ball around the court, making sure everyone had their hand in the offense was superb. That's how you play the point in this league, ladies and gentlemen. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.